welcome back in the information architecture video series this video presents a solution for an enterprise data warehouse in microsoft azure platform this brings together all your data no matter the scale or format it could be terabytes or petabytes it could be csv excel or maybe parquet or relational database whatever it may be there is no matter of scale or format it provides a way for all your users to get insight from your data through analytical dashboards operational reports and advanced analytics so we see mainly four data flows the first one is azure synapse analytics pipeline which brings together structured and structured and semi-structured data such as logs files medias the structured relational database too it could be business data or custom application so this pipeline store the data into azure data lake storage you know the azure data lake storage of different generation it could be gen 1 or gen 2 built on azure blob storage we have discussed about gen 2 properties especially they have the hierarchical data structure so apache pool is azure synapse analytics to clean and transform the data which is available in the data lake storage so coming to the third data flow there is azure synapse analytics which combines the processed data with existing structured data creating one unified data hub you know azure synapse analytics the spark pool prepares and trains and makes a unified data hub so where are these storing they're storing in the azure synapse analytics then there is a dedicated sql pool makes the data available for operational reports and analytical dashboards that derive insight azure analysis service serves the report and dashboards to thousands of end users so we have azure synapse analytics pipelines which is bringing data from all external sources then we have the azure data lake storage where we are storing the data then azure synapse analytics apache spark pool for preparation and training making a unified data available in the azure synapse analytics it is a dedicated sql pool then we have the azure synapse analysis service which is going to serve the data for the reports and if you look at each component to understand one by one let me start what is azure synapse analytics it is a syn analytics service for data warehouses and big data systems available in microsoft azure platform this tool uses a massively parallel processing architecture and has deep integration with all the azure services then we have azure synapse analytics pipeline which provides a way for you to create schedule and orchestrate workflows such as extract load and transform that is erg and extract transform load etl workflows then we have the azure storage we have the azure blob storage and azure data lake storage so a blob storage provides massively scalable cost-effective object storage for any type of unstructured data could be image videos or audios documents and many more so what is the data lake storage you know data lake storage is a repository that holds a large amount of data in its native raw format so usually they are stored in the percut format so data lake storage is built on top of blob storage as a result data lake storage offers the scalability tiered storage and high availability and disaster recovery capabilities of the blob storage then coming to azure synapse analytics spark pool we have serverless pools and we have server pools or dedicated pools so provides a parallel processing framework that supports in memory processing to boost the performance of big data analytic applications so analysis service is a enterprise grade analytics engine 
that provides an easy way for users to perform ad hoc data analysis. You can use analysis service to govern, test and deliver business solutions at scale. Then finally, you know, Power BI is a suite of business analytics tools that deliver insight throughout your organization. You can use Power BI to connect to hundreds of data sources, simplify data preparation and derive ad hoc analysis. You can also produce beautiful reports and publish them for your organization to consume on the web and across mobile devices. So coming to the scenario details, an enterprise data warehouse brings all your data together no matter the source, format or scale. They behave as a single source of truth for your data. It integrates relational data sources with other unstructured data set. Use a semantic model and powerful visualization tool for simpler data analysis. So the potential use cases of uh, this kind of enterprise data warehouse. So you can use this solution in scenarios where involved large volume of data, IOC devices integration, customer data platforms, natural language processing, and machine learning algorithms. Thank you for watching this video.